guys, Alex here. Today we're going to talk about the SNHU cybersecurity degree. So this degree is another great online cybersecurity degree if you want to work in the field of cybersecurity, IT, etc. So cybersecurity is an ever-growing field and there's a lot of degrees popping up everywhere at a lot of schools. It's becoming a very popular major. It's especially popular in online schools. So although brick and mortar schools are getting the degree more and more. So you'll st see it start popping up at well-known colleges. Uh, so cybersecurity is a degree that's really popular with military students. It's a degree that's really popular uh, with people that were interested in computer science or uh, software engineering or IT, and they decided cybersecurity is a little more fascinating for them. So cybersecurity, do I really recommend it? You know, it all depends. If you really have a passion for it, it is a good degree. It's just cybersecurity breaking in. There is no such thing as entry-level cybersecurity. So, you know, it's it's really tough. Uh, you'll have to network a lot. Um, maybe find an internship somewhere, like a security analyst in internship, although those are pretty rare to come by. Um, and just get some experience on your resume somehow, some way. But like I said, cybersecurity is a very fascinating field. I think it's one of the most interesting tech majors. And if you don't want to do a general IT degree or a computer science degree, like you really want to just focus on everything being cybersecurity, that's the field that fascinates you, then these cybersecurity degrees are what's for you. Because you want to make sure a degree keeps your attention, keeps you engaged, uh, etc. So today we'll go over the SNHU cybersecurity degree and this degree is slightly hackable. It's not as hackable as other SNHU degrees and it's not as hackable as any of the WGU, UMPI or TESU degrees. So SNHU is not as hackable as those schools. But if you really have your heart set on SNHU or you already attend SNHU, I can show you how to get over one third of your degree done in a matter of months. Within about four months, you can get about 40% of your SNHU degree done, which is pretty amazing. And you save over one third of the tuition cost. Imagine having 40% of that tuition money saved and also getting 40% of your degree done in like four months. I'll show you how to do that right now. I'll get into a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will be downloadable at my website, majormash.com, which I will put in the pinned comment and the description. So let's get into the spreadsheet, guys, and I will show you how to hack this degree. Hey guys, we are in the SNHU cybersecurity spreadsheet. In this spreadsheet, I am gonna show you how to hack your degree 40% faster. I'm gonna show you how to save 40% of tuition costs. So like I said, you can get your degree done 40% faster, you know, that's basically almost two years of your degree completely gone, you know, around 20 months or so, and you save 40% of tuition money, which is a lot of money in your pocket. So let's, uh, we're going to go over which courses will transfer in. I'm going to explain why this degree is not quite as hackable as other schools. So SNHU a couple years ago, I did read was more hackable than it is now. I think they've gotten a little more stingy on ACE credits. I don't think they want their degrees being 75% hackable. So their degrees have become more like 40 to 55% hackable at the most, you know, where other schools allow 75% of their entire degree to be hacked through ACE credits. So SNHU is still a hackable school, still a good school if you want to use ACE credits. But, you know, if your primary goal is to save money and your primary goal is to graduate really fast, you know, there are much better colleges out there, such as WGU, you know, such as uh, UMPI, although UMPI does have a limited uh, your pace major selection. Uh, and then Thomas Edison State University, which is where I graduated from, and they have tons of uh, majors, and they accept up to 114 credits for transfer, although you do have to do at least 30 total credits at a two or four year university. So that's the catch with Thomas Edison. So SNHU, like I said, uh, their degrees are not as hackable, but they're still a hackable college where you can save a lot of money. And I'm gonna go over the course list here. So general education, they only allow 15 credits of this to be transferred in out of about 42. Uh, you'll do English one, business ethics, and anatomy and physiology at study.com. 
introduction to psychology and introduction introduction to stats you'll do at straighter line uh, most math classes i always recommend at straighter line because they're easier there you know you can use a calculator uh, if you get 100 percent on all the exams at straighter line when it comes to the final exam you can literally get like almost zero and this is the only ace credit platform that that does this like you can get almost zero on the final and you'll still pass because you got 100 percent on all the other exams so that's just how they're that's how their grading module works. Um, whereas other places, you'll still have to get a decent grade on the final exam. Now we get to the college major transferred in list here. And you have Computer Science 102, Fundamentals of Information Technology. Uh, this will transfer in as the same name. Uh, this is an easy class on study.com. I think I, comple I completed it in about two days on study, although I invested you know, most of my day, both those days. So, you know, very easy class, uh, highly recommend it. And then on Sophia, you would do introduction to Java programming, introduction to network, and introduction to Python programming. And that will transfer in as foundations and application development, introduction to computer network, and introduction to scripting. So these courses on study.com, for some reason, will not transfer in as these equivalents. They will only transfer in as a free electives. So I don't know why SNHU only accepts these courses from Sophia as the course equivalents. You know, my guess is some kind of partnership to accept only the Sophia version. Whereas most schools are different. You know, most schools would actually only accept the study.com version as the equivalent. So, you know, SNHU, all, all these schools have partnerships like a deeper partnership with one of the ACE credit providers. In my, in my research, usually it's uh, study.com, but sometimes it is Sophia or Straighter Line where the deeper partnership exists. So it does seem like SNHU might have a deeper partnership with Sophia when it comes to their tech programs. So they will accept these three programs, I mean, these, these three classes as the exact equivalents here and you can transfer them in. Now, free electives, you can do 21 credits, and I've kind of picked those out for you, but you can actually pick almost any course you want. So, basic genetics, uh, business 104, computer science 107, intro to business on study.com. These are all like six day or less classes, very easy. Um, some of them were pretty fun too. I had fun with basic genetics. I had fun with business 104. You know, you'll learn some about business. So introduction to web development. I heard this is an easy course on Sophia and it teaches you quite a bit. It'll transfer in as website design. Financial accounting I always recommend for any degree because if you ever want to start your own business, like this is a very important skill to learn. So I also read it's not that bad on Sophia. And then developing effective teams. Once again, if you want to work in business, like you want to run your own business, Say you have employees one day, this will be very valuable. So I think it kind of goes hand in hand with this degree. You know, a lot of a lot of people that get tech degrees do go on to run their own kind of tech business at some point. You know, not everybody, you know, but a lot of people do go on to run their own business. So, you know, this is a very important and easy class on Sophia. So you would transfer in 48 credits here. And basically you would still have to do quite a bit at the school here. But you can transfer in 48 credits, like I said, and that's about 40% of your degree. And you can get this degree done a lot faster than usual. Uh, there's a study.com discount up here with 25% off. So if you want to use that, feel free. And you can check out this spreadsheet once again in the pinned comment. And you can also always email SNHU and see if they will accept more than these 48 credits. You know, you can pick whatever Sophia or study.com cybersecurity course that you can find and ask them if it will if it will transfer in as any equivalent to the major. I've done extensive research on this spreadsheet, but once again, you can do even further research and see if they accept uh, more credits into the major or accept more general education credits as well. So, you know, if you email SNHU, I'm sure there is a few more classes at least that you can find that will transfer in. So. And you can save even more money. But uh, once again, cybersecurity is a good degree right now. Uh, the, the field is getting more and more popular. I do hope there will be entry-level jobs at some point. 
uh, especially if when the economy gets a little better and starts going into more of a hiring spree than the bear market that we're currently in. Uh, you know, once we go on like a hiring spree and this always happens, economies go in cycles. It doesn't matter what's going on. Economies will always go in cycles no matter what. So there eventually will be a hiring spree in tech again. Uh, and I would hope cybersecurity actually has entry level jobs at some point, because right now this field has never had entry level jobs. You know, usually, usually a cybersecurity job is somebody that held a broad general information technology degree and they worked as they worked a couple IT jobs first and they have a bunch of IT certs and then they eventually get like a cybersecurity job like a security analyst or something like that so you know there's currently no entry level jobs for cybersecurity but like i said if you network enough or you know you take more of a IT entry level job you can eventually still break into cybersecurity. You know, I do think that cybersecurity degree, uh, a cloud degree, and a general information technology degree, they all kind of hold the same weight. Um, so, you know, I, I think I would probably prefer a general IT degree over a cybersecurity degree, but they're still both really good degrees. You know, I like almost all tech degrees. I think they're all very useful. I think you'll get a very good job eventually with almost any tech degree. So uh, now we're going to go over the, uh, we're going to go to the SNHU website now, and we're going to go over the courses in this program and see if, you know, this program is worth it, you know, see if this program has a good curriculum. So let's get into that right now. As we are in the website here for SNHU Cybersecurity, and we're going to go over most of the curriculum, you know, we're going to show if it's, you know, a curriculum that's good, you know, what kind of classes are useful. Uh, things like that. So a lot of these you already did at study.com or Sophia and your general ed. We're not going to talk about that. Um, you will take operating systems, which is a cornerstone class in almost every tech degree. Uh, it's very useful. No matter what tech discipline you're learning, operating systems is always a very important course. So cybersecurity foundations, obviously a introductory class, computer networking, a introductory class. Network security is pretty important when it comes to cybersecurity or any kind of general IT degree. You know, you need to know networks, you need to know security. So operating system security, that actually sounds like a pretty fun class. Um, I, wonder, I wonder what operating system that focuses on, if any. Um, so I'm not the biggest fan of Windows these days. I know it's kind of off topic, but I've become a Mac guy. You know, don't get me wrong, I love computers in general. I try to love all operating systems. Um, and I still have a Windows computer as well, but like I said, I've become a big fan of the Mac operating system. It's just very clean. And for anyone that just like hates Apple because those people exist, like I used to be the same way many, many years ago, but their, their operating system is very clean and very functional. Um, I, I like it a lot. Windows 11 has become very, uh, very uh, bloated, um, I do not like the user interface either at all, but it's not a bad operating system. So, you know, I try to get into Linux as well. But uh, I used to love Windows 2 back in Windows XP is what I grew up on. My first operating system was Windows 95 though, but I grew up on w Windows XP. That, like, that was my operating system. That was one of the best operating systems ever in my opinion. Um, but Windows 7 was another great operating system for Microsoft. Windows 10 was good, not great. And then Windows 11 is pretty average. So let's get into the other courses. Sorry for rambling on there. Uh, application security, another very important class. Cyber defense sounds like a fun and important class. Explore common strategies and tactics employed by security practitioners to protect networks, systems, applications, and data. Learn the principles of cryptography and examine the critical role in, it plays in protecting information assets. So that sounds like a pretty fun course. You know, it sounds more like a writing course the way they describe it, but it still sounds pretty fun. Uh, this sounds like a filler class here, another filler class. Network defense sounds a lot like cyber defense. 
incident response and investigation. So this sounds like the kind of course you want to work in cybersecurity, right? This is kind of the course you sign up for. This is the course you're looking forward to. This is the course that you want to do. So incident response and in investigation. So incident analysis, like this sounds like it will actually apply to your job. It will actually apply to your career. So incident response and investigation. This is a class I hope you have fun in. This is a class that I hope you learn a lot from because it might be something similar what you're doing on your job. Security assessment and auditing, that's another useful application class. So these are the type of courses you want that are relevant to your career. Courses that apply to your job. And these two courses right here probably apply to your job pretty heavily if you're ever going to be a security analyst. So this class, probably a bit of a filler class here. And then enterprise security, you know, if you are gonna work in the private sector, you are gonna work for a company, this does sound like a very important course as well. So, and there it is, there's your cybersecurity degree. It's not my favorite cybersecurity degree in the world. I think there's better cybersecurity degrees out there, but SNHU is a hackable school. You know, once again, if you're asking my opinion on what cybersecurity degree to take, that depends on you. Do you want it really fast and really affordable? That would definitely be WGU. Uh, do you want a slightly hackable school um, where you'll still save a little bit of money and you like this curriculum you like this curriculum a little better than WGU? Then I would pick SNHU. But I don't see the use case for SNHU much here. You would have to really like the curriculum uh, and you want to save a little money compared to other expensive online schools. But if you're trying to save money and go fast, I, I don't see why you would do this one over the WGU degree. Now, if money's not a factor and time's not a factor, right, then I would just go find whatever curriculum of cybersecurity you like best on the internet. If money's not an issue, if time's not an issue, you know, then go out there and find whatever looks like the most amazing cybersecurity curriculum that there is. Because I wouldn't say the WGU one is like this amazing curriculum. It's pretty good, but you know there are cybersecurity bachelor degrees on the internet that are like a A level, grade A level curriculum. WGU is probably more like, honestly, I would say maybe a B minus or B. You know, it's still a pretty good degree. You know, I, I think the WGU cybersecurity degree is still a very good degree. So, and then this one, like I said, it's it's a good degree. Uh, I, I think SNHU has put out some very quality programs, including this one. So, I like I said, I still prefer other cybersecurity degrees over this one. But if you're already in this program and you want to hack it faster, or you've just you've decided this is the degree for you for whatever reason, you know I show you how to hack it, and it's still a pretty good curriculum. You know these are some good courses uh, that will definitely prepare you for the industry. These will prepare you for cybersecurity jobs. They will prepare you for some general IT jobs. So, like I said, very good curriculum. You know, the curriculum on this, I'd probably also give a B minus or so. So, but it's still a really good curriculum. I think these two classes in particular will give you a lot of uh, application skills to your job and your career. So, if you want my advice on anything, you can leave a comment or email me. Um, you can check out the spreadsheet for this program as well. And you can check out my website, majormash.com, for a lot of hackable degrees from a lot of different schools. So anyways, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you all have a wonderful month and a wonderful summer. You know, we're finally getting into summer in the next few days here. And if you guys have any vacations planned, you can drop a comment where you're going. You know, feel free to go off topic. You can comment whatever you want in the comment section. I always look forward to reading your guys' comments. So... If you guys got any summer vacations, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you have a wonderful time. I have some more videos coming out. I have another one coming out Monday, so I always appreciate you guys watching. If this video helped you in any possible way, please like and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it as I'm trying to grow this channel more and more. So thank you guys so much. Have a great day.